The other day I was having a conversation with a customer about the FileMaker platform, and they told me that the FileMaker platform encourages mayhem or it encourages chaos. And I was like, wow, what does that mean? It's really kind of inflammatory, right? Like how could FileMaker encourage mayhem and chaos? And of course, this goes back to a very important concept that also has a lot to do with lean design and what is lean design and the fact that lean design conceptually is easy to understand, but it's a little bit hard to technically pin down what lean design is. And so you're saying, well, this is a crazy video. Why would I want to watch this? Well, if you're brand new to the FileMaker platform, or you've been around the platform for a long time, you're going to run into some revelations about the platform at some point. And if you watch this video, I'm going to help you cut the corner and get to a deeper understanding right now. First off, the FileMaker platform is deceptively easy. That means that someone with almost no experience can open it up and actually build something that is useful, has a useful purpose in a business. And this is very empowering. To give you a tool that empowers you to build things without being a rocket scientist, that is really cool. And that's really the basis of what the FileMaker platform is. However, the FileMaker platform has a lot of depth. And just because you can build something simply with it without a lot of experience, well, that may not be the best way to build it. So what do I mean by this? Well, let's take a step back. When you're brand new in the FileMaker platform, maybe that's you right now and you're just trying it out. You've only been using it for a week or a month or six months or playing with it little bits for a year or two. When you need something, you're going to attempt to build it. And there are probably 10 different ways to build it. You're going to find and use the first method that actually works. And that's an important concept. And that's the empowering part because finding that method that works is really generally not that hard for basic things. You know, building an invoice, building a project management, adding some tasks and line items and things like that. That's very doable. Now, keep in mind, I said there's probably 10 ways to build any specific feature. And you're going to, of course, be looking for the first technique that works. Now, that technique may not be great in terms of performance with a team of 20, 30, 50 people but it's gonna work really good for you and your custom application that's running on your specific computer. And so the road to hell is paved with good intentions. We've heard that before. That's a phrase I have heard since I was five years old. And really that's what the customers are talking about when they say FileMaker promotes chaos or mayhem. And that is people tend to build an application with it that they need for their business. And they use the first technique that actually works for them, which makes sense. Right, you're working on something, you build it, you press the button, you put the data in, and it works. It looks correct. You added up the math, the math is correct. You are a happy person, okay? And of course, then these people start to use that application. And then the person next to them sees them using that application, and they want to use it too. And before long, you have not one person using it, but five people using it, then 10 people using it. And before long, you have a whole bunch of people using the FileMaker application, which is great. That's the way it should be. However, when you start to scale the application, you realize that your application is running slower and you're not sure why it runs slower except that there's more people using it. So you equate the idea that if more people use FileMaker, it runs slower. That's a natural progression, right? And of course, then the business managers or the directors within the organization, et cetera, look and they see this mission critical application that was homegrown and it does important things. It's mission critical. They must have it. However, it's starting to slow down and they kind of ignore it and they work around it and say maybe they buy a faster server and hope that helps and it helps a little bit but not as much as they hoped and so they get into this mode where FileMaker because of its ease of use is promoting this chaos and mayhem because someone just builds a solution throws it out there the company decides they love it and before long it's being widely adopted and then suddenly it runs slow and then there's chaos and mayhem because the company needs it to run fast so that is the progression. So let me fast forward a little bit in your progression as a developer. So as a developer, the first thing you're gonna do, of course, is play with layout mode. You'll go into field definitions and you'll be defining fields and things like that. And if you're really kind of an advanced developer right out of the box, you might write a couple scripts, which are pretty straightforward. The FileMaker platform, when you're building the application, it has a number of different development interfaces. These interfaces are disconnected and are really not integrated together in a way that you might expect. Why is this? Well, FileMaker has been developed incrementally for the last 30 plus years. 
And so there are features in the application that were developed by people who have long since retired. And so the newer people come in and they say, hey, we want to add this new feature, but we don't want to break what's already there. So we're just going to add it as an add-on. So the FileMaker platform actually organically grows. So you have an area where you might define a field or a calculation. And within that calculation, there might be code. When I say code, I mean nothing more than some sort of formula that does something. Maybe it's two plus two, right? Or this field plus this field gives us a total. Very simple calculation, but that's code. That code can live in a calculation field in field definitions. It can also live in scripting in different areas. It could also live in conditional formatting in different areas, or it could live in a custom function in different areas. There are all these different areas where the code can exist. And of course, a brand new developer is going to use the first technique they run into that works. So they might build everything in field definitions. When I first started in the FileMaker platform years ago, I was a little bit scared of writing scripts. I could write them, but they were kind of limited. And so I would tend to try to write all the code into the calculation fields that were in the defined fields area. And I received a lot of success from that. In fact, I received so much success from that that I was able to start my own company and have a large number of very happy customers. However, that wasn't necessarily the best way to write the code. Now, if we fast forward two years later, what we realize is that for the highest possible performance, one of the safest things you can do is really not write your code in the calculations for a field. You write them in scripts. That way you can execute that code precisely when you want it to run. This is what I consider the middle level of development. So the first phase of learning to be a developer is that you build it and you try all these different techniques and you use the first one you run into. Make sense? And then, of course, farther along, you realize there are performance problems with that. It doesn't necessarily scale well, especially on the Internet. So then you realize that writing formula and code into a calculated field is probably a bad idea. And so you move that out to like a set field command in a script. And so your fields in your FileMaker file are generally going to be number fields and text fields and date fields without calculations. So you kind of extract it out. So that is the next level of performance, right? That, so that really can double, triple, quadruple, improve your performance maybe by 1,000%. This understanding is a very big moment in your development as a FileMaker application developer, right? It's a very important moment that you understand that. So where does Lean Design come from? And Lean Design is understanding that even though you can build all your calculations into scripts, and that gives you a high level of performance, there's a whole level of performance above that if you go back and you use specific, very narrow capabilities of the FileMaker platform. So the idea is that instead of putting all your code in scripts, you put most of your code in the scripts, and then you put different bits of code in other isolated areas that will run even faster than the scripts do. For example, if you write code and you put it into a custom function, it will generally run much faster than it would run in a script. This has everything to do with the way FileMaker is engineered and is not necessarily logical to you, but this is the way FileMaker is built. But you don't really know that unless someone teaches it to you or you find out by accident through experimentation. So the whole point of this video and all the videos that we shoot are to empower you to be successful. And in order to do that, you can spend 10, 15, 20, 30 years learning this based upon experience, which is what we have kind of had to do. And you can instead watch some video training and learn how to cut the corner so you go from phase one of building code to phase two of building code where you're really scripting it and phase three of building your custom application where you're using a lot of scripting, but you're focusing on specific other areas that make the design leaner and faster. And really, at the end of the day, this understanding is the core of all the video training. So my goal is to get you from the basic area all the way to the advanced area as rapidly as possible. So when the customer says FileMaker lends itself to mayhem and chaos, well, it's kind of a compliment because if it was chaos and mayhem and it didn't really provide value for the company, they'd have thrown it out and you wouldn't even be having the conversation. It's mayhem and chaos because A, someone without a lot of training built some mission critical applications and their application and their developer is kind of stuck between that phase one of development and that intermediate stage where they're learning how to really make it run faster with scripts. And so they're stuck in that range right there. 
And of course, watching the training, talking to a senior file maker consultant is going to help you get past those hurdles. So this is Richard Carlton trying to articulate, if possible, kind of this very strategic idea of how you get into FileMaker, how you get into trouble with FileMaker, and then some ideas about lean design and where that fits and how it makes your code run as fast as possible.